All right, YouTube. So I'm just going through uh, Fox News, the uh, YouTube channel, and I find uh, raw footage of the, they're calling it the California Holy Fire. Um, geez, what a very, what a very accurate term, you know, it's, because the way they're going about this, you know, the, the basically, I think a lot of people in the media know that no matter how we cover this story, people are going to start to point fingers at uh, artificial um, fires and everything. So, uh, direct energy weapons, uh, microwave we microwave weapons. I guess that might be the same thing. Uh, there's there's so many things that could be at play, you know. Um, and the footage that's here that's going to be in the uh, description below um, is a good like minute long footage of, and it doesn't even say the type of aircraft that it's shooting from. So. It's, uh, I, I, it kind of sounds like, just my take, it sounds like a plane. You know, it sounds like a, uh, a cargo plane. It sounds, sounds kind of large. Um, but that's just my, that's my very, very raw take. But in, anyways, the thing is, is that Agenda 21 is a real thing. It's not a conspiracy, or it's not a theory. It's, it's an actual conspiracy, rather. And um, it's essentially population control. It's... I will repeat this phrase because this is the phrase that they use a lot is get them off the land. And um, that's essentially what they're trying to do here. And it makes sense because look at it this way, folks. California is what the sixth largest GD GDP or sixth largest economy in the entire world. It could be its own country, you know. So a lot of folks here in the state that basically have uh, legal control over California and everything that goes through it, in and out through it. And don't for a second think that those politicians don't have an eye of the uh, black market that goes on here in California. Oh, they have, they're, I mean, they're complicit. They're probably the folks that enable such activities to go on. So anyways, these folks, they want to change California. They essentially want to tra transform California into their basically their, their own little resort state. So get rid of all the people. And this is not even, this is not even a race thing, folks. Maybe sometimes it is. I, I don't know. I think that evil doesn't necessarily have to be racist or not. You know, what I mean is, is that the folks here don't necessarily have to be racist for this to be happening. But I'm sure there might be some racists. Anyways, beside the point, it's essentially trying to get everybody off the land because they want to have all this land to themselves. They they don't want all these cars. I mean, who could blame them? There's a lot of people here in California. Let's let's not go ahead and ignore that fact because that that's a fact. There's a lot of people here in this in the state. A lot of tourists, a lot of illegal immigrants, a lot of people. I mean, just a lot of people in general. It doesn't matter. The big problem is is that you know everybody agrees that there's a lot of, a lot of people here, but do we really? Are we really going to say, oh, let's go ahead and um, cause all these artificial fires up there in California? Uh, basically displace all these people from their homes, uh, pets and everything are dying, and it's it's a big bull of wrong. And that's what they're doing right now. And they can lie about it, but it's absolutely true. It's absolutely happening. Agenda 21 is something that's happening. And I'm sure that do is one of the things that's um, part of Agenda 21. It's get them off the land. You know, it's not even about just getting them off the land. It's about literally removing them from the face of the earth. They say, oh, you know, we want to get population down to probably, what, 500 billion or 500 million rather. And um, yeah, that's uh, they, they're active proponents of population control. And look, folks, another thing, too, another thing that's actually very shocking and, and something speaking of racism, you know, something that I uh, mentioned earlier, but this is just coming to mind. This is another form of population control. It's uh, Planned Parenthood and basically abortion doctors. And it's a very profitable business too. The science behind it, the um, stem cells that you can get, can get from fetuses and everything and, and many other things, I'm sure. You know, these fucking weirdos of the spirit cooking, I'm sure they have some... Uh, some interest in these fetuses. You know, don't, don't doubt that for a second, you know. They would definitely stoop that low. But the thing is, is that what I've heard, the narrative at least, is that Planned Parenthood is essentially um, there to euthanize uh, black babies and, and basically colored, colored folks 
because that happens to be a lot of the folks that go and uh, have abortions. You know, they they breed at a higher higher rate, so they tend to have more abortions. Um, it's definitely possible, absolutely. And um, why why is it that folks are just just so um, opposed to this idea of population control? You know, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say, like, look, if, if you if you just choose not to believe in it, that's fine. But um, don't be surprised when you start to hear more and more people talking about it. Because it's not a conspiracy theory. It's an actual thing. So um, you can continue to call us conspiracy theorists. But in reality, we're speaking, you know, the truth, you know, or at least as much as we know about it. And that's all I really know about Agenda, Agenda 21 in that part. That was a pretty good take. I'm going to end on that. Uh, David Ike, like I said, he gave a, he does a really good video about Agenda 21. Um, check out Info. Fuck if it's still here. Uh, Infowars actually has some, or they had some uh, older. Uh, sorry, it's hummingbird outside my window. It's kind of cool. Um, they had a good video about Agenda 21 and. I'm sure you could find some uh, other good material here on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, it's really, it's just, it's very disappointing, you know, all the censorship and everything. But I try to be an optimist. I try to be a, um, a guy that takes lemons and makes lemonade. But if the censorship, we could use this as an example of their, obviously, it's a, a, an, exam, an example of their uh, tyranny. But more importantly, you know, let's just go ahead and use that. And, and I don't know where I was going with that, but look, I think it's, it's really important that we just basically maybe look at on the, look on the bright side. Infowars is now probably twice as more popular, popular than it was before. I don't know. Who knows? All right, guys, I'll see you later. God bless.